The deadly stabbing of a leader in the tech world. Even Elon Musk takes aim at San Francisco's safety. But tonight, we dig through the data. How does the narrative stack up to the numbers? Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thank you for joining us. Uh, now, 48 hours after the deadly stabbing of well-known Silicon Valley executive Bob Lee, and the search is on for who might be responsible. Lee had been working for a cryptocurrency company called MobileCoin, but those who knew him say his innovations in tech won't be forgotten. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone is tracking new details tonight and hearing from those who knew him well. He's in the newsroom. J.R. Dan, Ama, so many of those I spoke with said the sad part of this is not just what Bob Lee had done and the family he left behind, but the innovative things he was still working on, the things that would have helped people going forward. A candle lit in memory of 43-year-old Bob Lee, a tech executive and father of two girls who was killed in a San Francisco stabbing. I'm just, you know, overwhelmed. His dedication to his kids was first and foremost. It's just almost numbing. I, I think everybody close to Bob is just in shock because there was no one who I don't think didn't love Bob. Doug Dalton had dinner with Lee last Saturday, saying Lee had relocated to Miami, but was back in town involved in a business summit with the company he worked for called MobileCoin. Dalton says Lee's spirits were high. He literally did not seem to have a care in the world. He was very excited about kind of where things were going with MobileCoin. He was very excited to be back in the Bay for a bit. Then, days later, at 2.35 a.m. Tuesday, Police say Lee dialed 911, telling dispatch he had been stabbed, but not giving them a location. SF Standard reporter Jonah Owen Lamb watched the surveillance video and described seeing what appeared to be Lee struggling in the Rincon Hill neighborhood. And then at Harrison, he seems to lift his shirt up as he approaches a car that is stopped on the corner with its flashers on. The car then drives away. He falls to the ground. He gets up again and then walks back on Main the way he came, but on the other side of the street and, and falls down. Those living in the area where Lee was found said they witnessed a heartbreaking scene. It looked, it looked vicious. I took her out at 11 o'clock yesterday morning and I saw the blood smeared on, on right, right around here uh, on the building. Dalton still saddened and confused, not knowing what happened. Even if somebody were trying to rob him or something of that nature, Bob is one of those people who he would not have tried to fight them or anything of that like that. He values his children too much, and so I couldn't imagine anything like that. Sources told our ABC 7 News I team that a kitchen knife with a four inch blade was found in a Caltrans parking lot across the street. Was that the weapon used here? That is unknown right now. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.